historically um, that has not been the case because we wouldn't be here having to have these conversations if that had been the case, you know? And so it's just a reminder that when we say that, a lot of times we read the Bible, but, um, you know, but are we ingesting the Bible? We know the semantics. We, we know that we should love our neighbor, but we have this picture of what, who our neighbor is and what our neighbor should be. And we, we constantly sometimes think literally my neighbor when, <laughs> when, yeah. you know, neighbor looks very different you know, um, you know, Canada is our neighbor, Mexico is our neighbor, like, you know, so when we start talking about um, just who is your neighbor, and if we start looking at people through the lens of they are created through the image of God, that is God's creation, and the same journey that you've been on of, of, of human brokenness, um, you know, and depravity, that's the, the same journey everyone else is on, And, um, but for the grace of God that you're not maybe still there or in that mindset or, um, living out that way. And so I think it's just a reminder for me that I constantly have to do, even as sometimes things that pain me and how people harm me. And that, um, there's a, um, Fannie, Fannie Lou Hamer, uh, Hamer, I'm sorry, was a, was a a activist, um, of the sixties for voting rights. And she was, Um, grew up as a a sharecropper but in her readings and in her words and when you listen to her speeches like she held people um, to this this providence of God that you know I am an image bearer and so basically what you're doing to me is you're doing to God and um, how she was you know put in prison and, and beaten you know by people who say they love God and so I think there's this reckoning we have to realize, like, you know, how can you say, you know, um, you love your brother when you're mistreating your brother and sister, you know what I'm saying? Like something that, that, that form of Christianity is not Christianity, you know what I'm saying? If you enjoyed this conversation from the Transforming Discipleship Podcast, listen to the full episode at smallgroups.com slash podcast.